Well, hey there. Welcome back to Elk Mountain. You can see here we're in the uh, circle field here on the property. And I planted some wheat. I actually ended up just going for it here. Uh, I had talked about earlier possibly planting some wheat because of the potential shortages this year. So went ahead and planted some. Hopefully the prices will come up and we can get a good price for it next year had a co-op fella come down and I had him running the cultivator ahead of me and then I hopped on the cedar here and I followed him behind him and so you see here we just about have this field done it is completely fertilized and planted with wheat good news is I may have found an opportunity to help make up the uh, difference there on the uh, debt owed to the uh, the previous property owner. Called over and I asked Cliff if he had any work, any contract work, and he did not. But he said I may want to check with the fella out there at Elk Mountain Ranch because the guy has a couple horses. And he always tries to get some hay up before winter. And as far as Cliff knows, he had not got any put up in the barn yet for the horses. Uh, he has a little alfalfa field out there, out in front of the ranch. And he said he was looking for help to uh, try and get that put up for him. So I made a phone call. And he actually was open to the idea of me coming out there and helping out. He said he needs a trailer load for his horses to get him through the winter and I could sell the rest as long as I do all the work. So that is actually a really good deal. Uh, I don't know if it'll get me where I need to be, but it'll be a little bit of something to help with making that dead up so let me run over here and uh, grab the pickup truck and we're going to come back over and drop off the trailer and then I'm going to head on over to Elk Mountain Ranch that's about three o'clock in the afternoon a little after three so we have a little bit of daylight uh, th the nice thing is the fella out there at the ranch does have a mower I can use so he said just to use that and we'll go ahead and get it mowed today and see if it dries out pretty quick. Uh, we'll try and get it fluffed up, raked up, and then bailed up. Uh, as you can see here, I almost used up all the seeds. And I did put all the fertilizer in the cedar. I ended up with just a little bit left in the cedar there on that field. So I guess it was a good thing. After all, buying all that seed and fertilizer a little while back. So I'm just going to park the truck here for now. We'll try and uh, run on out to the ranch and hop in his mower and do a little bit of mowing. So we're going to head on out that way and we'll see you at the ranch. Now we're almost over here at the ranch and you can see out there, there is the field of alfalfa. So not a huge field, but it'll be a little bit of something to help out. And I do appreciate the owner here letting me have this opportunity. Now this is helping out quite a bit. Pull over here. He said it was in the barn. Uh, I best not going up to the house. He seems to be pretty private let's just pull over here and uh, hop in the mower and get to it oh that looks like it there all right we got a, a John Deere self-propelled mower here well this should be interesting
So the goal here today is to get all of the field mode and possibly if I have enough daylight we can run back out to the uh, to the farm and pick up the tractor and the tether and maybe run back out here I could drive the tractor out here but it's going to take quite a bit of time probably be better off loading it up on the trailer and bringing it out now the only problem is going to be when I go to Bella I'm going to have to drag the baler out here and that is going to take some time I have to get that done at a very slow speed Alright, so we have the uh, field of alfalfa here. We'll go ahead and start mowing this. And we'll get this done and knocked out. And see where it puts us today. Hopefully we can get a little bit more done. If I can uh, quickly get through this mowing. I'll tell you, this is a little bit easier then that offset mower that I have at the farm uh, just driving straight here along the rows that is that's quite a bit easier I'm not sure how this field compares to the size of my grass field I think it may be a little smaller but it is square uh oh, what's going on here? Oh, we are not cutting anything. Hmm, what is going on? Must have had a little clog. There in the uh, mechanism got clogged up. Let's get back over here and see if we can't pick it back up here. Uh oh, what's going on? There we go. There we go. Nope. There we not go. Well, let me hop out here and see what's going on. Well, as you can tell, it is getting a little bit later here in the uh, afternoon. Sun's going down over the mountains. I had to kick on the lights here to be able to see what I'm doing. Bad news. I just happened to check the weather on my phone while I was running up and down these rows and I noticed that we have rain coming we're going to get some rain tonight so now I don't know what to do I don't know whether to even attempt to get it dried out tonight that won't do much good if I'm not going to get it bailed up or just wait until tomorrow and go ahead and see if it'll dry out tomorrow hopefully the rain does not last long and it gives us a chance to dry so I'm not not too sure what the best call is here I could work all through the night but I don't think I'd be able to beat the rain so I think what I'm just gonna have to do is just let it lie here on the ground it's gonna get a little wet I'll just have to hope that tomorrow I can get it dried out in time to uh, get it bailed up and off to sell boy I don't know I don't know if this is going to make a big enough dent in the bank account other problem is we got to take it all the way down there to Cliff's feed store over there by the farm so we'll be hauling one load at a time all the way down the road so it's going to take a little bit of effort here I may have to see if there's a, anyone over at the co-op that can give us a hand that or maybe I'll have to have my wife running the bells back down to sell I don't know we'll have to get some help for sure but where we get the help from I'm not sure at this point I do like this machine I really like this machine it makes uh, easy work of this uh, field here and it turns on a dime so it makes uh, turning around on the end of the row extremely easy I 
All right, well, I want to go ahead and finish up this field here. You see, I am a good ways through it. Don't have a whole lot left to go. Uh, there over there on that far side where I was having trouble with the cutter, uh, there appeared to be some vines down there growing in the alfalfa, I guess some weed of some sort. And I was just getting clogged up in the uh, cutter head, cutting the machine off. So I just went around that little area and we'll just leave that there for the deer. They can have a little bit to munch on. Well, this done got dark. Done got dark. But got the field finished. And uh, we're just going to head on back to the house. Go ahead and load up the tractor on the trailer. And get that ready for tomorrow. And then that way, uh, we'll be able to get to it just as soon as the weather breaks. And uh, we can get over here and uh, get the grass flipped over and dry it out. And then that way we can go ahead and start making some hay. Uh, we're going to have to make several trips back to the farm. We're going to have to get the rake down here. Get the tether down here. The baler and the trailer down here. So a lot of back and forth going to happen tomorrow. But uh, it's just part of it. So we'll get back down here to the house. We'll see you back up here first thing in the morning. Well, all right. We are almost down here to the alfalfa field. We got the tractor loaded up. Got the tether hooked up. And so we're going to try and get this grass flipped over here. It actually ended up not raining last night. So that actually worked out really well. It's been a dry night. No dew. And so, should be able to get this dried out really quickly. And we'll get going on the haymaking today. Alright, so we'll jump up in the John Deere here. Get her fired up. Let's turn on some lights so I can see what I'm doing. Ease off the trailer there. Nice and easy. Now one thing I'd, I'd actually mentioned about potentially getting rid of this tether here at some point. It just doesn't work good. I end up having grass left over. Uh, that doesn't get headed so uh, don't know what's going on with it it tends to miss spots here and there so that is a little bit frustrating and it actually looks like the alfalfa has grown overnight that's some fast growing stuff As you can see there, the grass is a little bit darker before I run over it. And then behind the tractor is a little lighter, a little bit greener looking. So we're going to go ahead and get started here and uh, get around the field. Don't expect this to take a whole lot of time. But as the sun comes up here, we'll go ahead and dry it out. And next stage, we'll have to run back to the house and grab the rake. Alright, we're on the last strip here. Got this field all dried out here. So the grass has turned into hay. And we are ready to go grab the hay rakes. I got to thinking. I could maybe get those on the trailer. And brought down here. But I don't think there's going to be any way to do that. So what I'm going to end up doing. We're just going to leave the truck here. And we're just going to drive the tractor back to the farm. That's going to take a little while because this tractor only goes 19 miles an hour. But I don't have much other option. The other problem is I'm going to have to break those rakes down and uh, get them in a single file line so they'll fit on the road. And then when we get back over here, set them back up. Then when we're done, break them back down. So that is going to be an absolute pain. Uh, but... What do I do? I could go to the shop and see if they had something I could rent that might uh, tow a little easier. 
but every time I, I rent something, it's just eating into my profits here. And uh, right now I am in a in a serious crunch here. So we're going to go ahead and just do the best we can. Head on back to the house and uh, get these rakes brought down. And uh, go ahead and get this field raked up so we can start bailing it. got back to the field here with the rakes and that was a fiasco but we're here now got them hooked up got them running and so we should be able to get this raked up fairly quickly uh, this field is actually going pretty quick it's a little smaller than my grass field but the nice thing about it is it's mostly square so not a whole lot of bends and corners to go around so that helps things out. Now let's take a look here behind us to see what kind of windrow. So a pretty good windrow. Getting uh, thrown up back there behind the rakes. Hopefully we get a lot of hay here. I'm not sure what the yield is going to be like. Don't know if they have been fertilizing this field or just what. So hopefully it'll be good. But only time will tell. So I hadn't had a whole lot of time to uh, speak with the owner of the uh, Elk Mountain Ranch. But it appears that he's been uh, a little bit more friendly here. He's, I guess, getting to know me a little bit on some of these jobs I've done for him. And is starting to open up just a little bit. So I don't know how much more work I'll end up doing for him or for the ranch here. But at some point, I'm going to ask him about some of the things going on here and see if I can't get a little bit more information. Now uh, he did ask me again. I was still interested in running some moonshine and I, you know, at this point it's actually tempting. I can make some quick cash, but I'm trying to stay on the up and up here. I don't want to get involved in uh, something that I'm going to regret. So let's see if we can get them rakes shut off there. Yeah, there we go. And, whoo, I about bent that one and bent it the wrong way. Let's make another loop around here and get lined up. There we go. All right, so we're going to start going up and down these rows here. And uh, get this raked up. It shouldn't take a whole lot. It is actually a little bit hard to see. I'm going to kick the lights back on here. I'm having a hard time seeing. I think I'm actually missing quite a bit. I might have to come back down that row there. 
That's difficult to see. It blends in really well with the existing alfalfa and since it grew last night, that is making it even harder. All right, let me get swung around here and I head back down and try and get the rest of what I left there. I'll just pull this row in here. The bad part of this deal is I have to uh, unload the bales for the horses. We're going to have to stack them in the barn uh, one by one. So that is going to that's going to take a little bit of time. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably uh, do that first. Make sure we have enough hay. And then that way we can uh, make sure we hold up our end of the bargain. And then I'll end up taking the rest to sell after we have the uh, load in the barn. Well, just got a little bit of time here to uh, get this done, and then we're going to run down and grab the baler. See if we can't get this field built up. It's actually going much quicker than I thought. I thought I'd be here all day, but it looks like we may may get this done rather quickly. Uh, it's a little after eight a.m. this morning so we'll uh, get this knocked out here maybe before lunch it might be close well we're about halfway done maybe a little bit more and you see we got a full trailer full of hey we're gonna go ahead and run this over here to the cow barn and try and get it unloaded let's see if I can find a spot get across this ditch here without too much of a bump let's see if we can ease across right here keep the hay on the wagon don't want to knock it off So we've got one, one full trailer load here, and I'm not real sure how much more we're going to end up getting off of the off the field there. But having to take this uh, trailer load over here is pretty much going to end up being about half of the uh, of the profits here. So let me get the barn opened up here. He said he wanted it in here. So let's see if we can pull through. That way I don't have to carry it nearly as far. We'll get the uh, baler pulled in line with everything. And let's see if we can just ease right in here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start unloading these bales here. I guess we'll stack them up along the side here. Maybe we'll put some up, up top here. I have to. Alright, let me get the tractor shut off and start unloading. Well, this brings me back to my childhood. Or my youth, I guess. Did a lot of hay work. Especially with these small bells when I was younger. It is hard work, I tell you what. Oh boy, I just made a mess. I just made a mess. Good, th good thing that baler does a good job at, at tying. Who just shut the door? Maybe the wind caught it. That's a strong wind then. Yeah, that baler does a good job putting these uh, bales together, so they are pretty tight. 
Luckily, a little tumble like that off the trailer doesn't do too much damage. Last thing you want is for this string to uh, pop loose. And all you do is just create a mess. And I've got a lot of work left ahead of me. So let me quit talking and do a little bit more stacking. All right, you see here we do have uh, quite a few bells stacked up here alongside the barn. And uh, the fellow here, that was the ranch, stopped by while I was loading it up. He didn't need that many, as I thought. So we actually have quite a few left here on the trailer. So that is a very good thing. Uh, he didn't need very many. Uh, he had said a, a load initially, but I guess he didn't realize the size of the trailer. So, well, that is going to work out really well. Got a lot more hay to sell for us. So, we're going to head on back over to the hay field and uh, keep on bailing. Will this get me out of debt? It's not looking like it, but we will see next time. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to click the thumbs up button. And if you're not a subscriber, I'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing to the channel. As always, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day.